I would like to introduce you to the Terrapin VCD CD player and recorder. This unit came out, uh, I'm guessing, in the early 2000s, like 2002 through 2004, somewhere in there. And this was before DVD recorders had become commonplace. This unit looks like it came from out of a science fiction movie in the 1950s or something but uh, is a very unique piece of audio video equipment. Number one, it will make video CDs. And if you're not familiar with a video CD, you can of course look on Wikipedia and read up about it. But video CD was actually a consumer format for uh, recorded movies, probably the first digital format for recorded movies, and was very popular in China. But uh, there was an attempt to make it popular here in the United States, and this company, Terrapin, attempted to make it mainstream here in our country. Now, DVD was already on the scene, and we had already could see how great the quality was on DVD. So, as you can imagine, the public did not embrace this product. Those of us who had VCRs were used to VCRs, and we didn't really feel like going to anything else. In fact, I don't think DVD recorders have taken off as well or had taken off as well either. So consumers didn't want to record video onto discs. Uh, they wanted to record it onto hard drives. So the DVR is pretty much our commonplace method of recording home television programs, etc. I want to go ahead and turn it off real quick so you can see the logo that comes up on the screen when you first turn it on. It's kind of cool. And there it is. There's our Terrapin logo. Now, currently I have a DVD player over here on this side, and I'm going to show you how to make a recording on a Terrapin machine. It's actually very simple. I am using a TDK data CDRW, brand new, right out of the uh, package. And there it goes. It shows you that it's a CDRW blank. And it shows you on the screen here as well that there's nothing on it. I have also used successfully a TDK Music CDRW, which works just as well. If you've never seen a commercial video CD, here's a, an example of one. And of course, it has our. Uh, uh, foreign uh, writing on there as well, either Japanese or Chinese, probably Chinese. So there's the whole nine yards and love actually. And you can find the uh, video CDs off of eBay fairly cheaply. There was another format similar to this uh, made by Philips. So the Philips CDI, if you had the video cartridge with it, you could play these video CDs. And you could also play their proprietary video CD format as well. It was just called CDI Movie. So anyway, those are uh, typically on two discs because like a music CD, the video CD holds 74 minutes of programming. So if your movie goes past 74 minutes, then you've got to put it on two CDs. But the cool thing is it was cheap to make because it's a CD with video encoded on it. The video encoding is MPEG-1, which is the little brother to MPEG-2, which is for DVDs. And it has uh, really crappy quality, in my opinion. It is not HD by any means. But um, I've already showed you the front of this as I was talking, but I'll just run you through the controls real quick. We have uh, eject, previous, play, stop, pause, next. We have a little door in the front here that you can open up and you have a digital audio optical input and you have a composite video and analog audio input. You can select your input with this button here, source. Then you have two uh, commands for it, record audio, record video. We have a uh, finalize, erase, and confirm and a record level for audio right here and there's actually a record level meter meter that comes up on the screen that you're seeing here 
And if you've never made a, a disc of any sort on any kind of equipment, you know that you can record onto the disc, but the disc is not ready to be shared with another machine until you finalize it. So that's part of the process. If you don't finalize it, this machine will be happy to play it at any time. But as soon as you put it into a computer or a, VC or a DVD player that happens to play video CDs, and a lot of DVD players on the market will play video CDs, um, if you don't finalize it, it won't play on those machines. So, and the other cool thing is this wonderful amber light that goes across the middle there. Kind of reminds you of uh, Kit from uh, Knight Rider, right? Except it doesn't go back and forth. But that would have been cool if they had done that. So if you hit eject here, the drawer comes out. And you put your disc in. Um, also, on the back of the unit, we have digital as well as... Um, your coaxial audio outputs so it does support digital audio output on the back and input as well and you have composite and you have s video inputs and outputs all right i think we've covered all the goodies there on the machine itself and the features that it has so i'm going to go ahead and put my phone here on a tripod so i can use both hands i will show you the remote Here's the remote for the unit. Of course, it has the little Terrapin logo there at the bottom. And it has a little dust cover that you pull back with some extra controls for recording. But then there's your regular playback controls there up on the top. Okay. It uses uh, two AAA batteries, which are see-through on the back of the remote. So let's go ahead and make a quick video CD. Show you just how simple that process is. And I'm going to use a demo disc, a uh, DVD demo disc, to, uh, to make this recording. And what's really intriguing about this unit is the fact that when you are recording, you will see the quality of your recording on the screen. So you won't see DVD quality. You will see your video as it's filtered through the digital to analog or whatever you want to call it, uh, processing system in this unit. Okay. So let's go ahead and queue up our disc. And first we're gonna hit record video. And it will go ahead and write some stuff on the disc for us to prep it, get it ready to go. And then you will see record standby. And once you are in that mode, you're just gonna hit the confirm button over here on the right, and you will be recording. So let's go ahead and hit that now because as soon as I put this disc in, it is going to start. And you can watch this video on my channel as well. This is a Sony so you've heard DVD, DVD demo disc. Have you seen DVD? Well, this is DVD. It looks just like a CD, but it holds much more information, and it's redefining home entertainment. The world is turning to DVD for a better way to watch movies and concert videos. DVD isn't just better than a And you'll see here on the front it's of better. the machine here's a scene your audio. Here's scene on VHS cassette. Now here's the same scene on DVD. See the difference? DVD gives you a digital picture, twice as sharp as a VCR. The image is cleaner, the colors are brighter. Now movies look the way they were meant to look. And the sound will blow you away. All right, and I went ahead and hit stop on there, and I'm going to hit stop on my VCD player, VCD recorder here. So, um... Interestingly enough, the, the, the audio on these discs is digital, and it's very good. Uh, I guess it's like MP3 quality audio, and I think that's where the MP3 codec actually came from, is from, from MPEG-1 video. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but the quality is really quite good on the video, but kind of crappy on the, on the or did I say that right? Great on the audio, crappy on the video. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play on this guy. And we'll see what our recording looks like.
So you've heard about DVD. Have you seen DVD? Well, this is DVD. It looks just like a CD, but it holds much more information, and it's redefining home entertainment. The world is turning to DVD for a better way to watch movies and concert videos. DVD isn't just better than a VCR, it's amazingly better. Here's a scene from a movie on VHS cassette. Now here's the same scene on DVD. See the difference? DVD gives you a digital picture, twice as sharp as a VCR. The image is cleaner, the colors are brighter. I'm going to go ahead and pause it and uh, take the camera off of the uh, off the tripod here just to show you how bad the quality is on this, okay? On this smaller HD TV, you can't really see the uh, the pixels, but up close on the disc or on the TV, you can see all of the little, I think they call those mosquito artifacts that are there on the image. So even though this doesn't look too bad from a distance, I would imagine on a, on a big HD TV, this would look really horrible. Um, from what I've read, it's just barely better than, than VHS. Some have even said it's worse than VHS, but in my opinion, nothing is worse than VHS. So uh, I would much rather watch a VCD than a VHS tape at any time. So you can see here the quality there, just jagged edges there on that little uh, glider that they're showing there. So uh, paying $200 back in the day for this unit to be able to record crappy video wasn't exactly uh, somebody's idea of fun. But here is one advantage to this that may intrigue you. The unit does not care about macrovision. And I don't know if you know what that is, but that is a copy protection scheme that is put onto uh, DVDs, VHS tapes. Uh, I don't think it was put on Laserdisc or RCA Selectivision discs, but uh, it was def definitely was put on VHS tapes. And if you put plug a VHS machine into this and play a tape on it, it's going to come out looking almost exactly like the VHS tape. But uh, many DVD recorders, if they recognize Macrovision on the original source, they won't even record. There'll just be a, a little thing that comes up on the screen and says, copy protected, and you stop there. Macrovision lives in the blanking of the, of the uh, picture, so you don't actually see it. It's like up above the picture and uh, it is there to confuse the automatic gain control of your recorder. So a VCR to a VCR uh, is, is not gonna work in that regard either. So if there's a source that you wanna make a backup of, then the Terrapin is gonna be able to do that without any loss of quality or uh, strange things happening on the screen that Macrovision was intended to do. So let's say that you're done with this recording, you don't like it, you want to start over. You can just go over here and hit the erase button. Actually, I guess I gotta unpause it first. I'll hit stop. And we're gonna go over here and just erase it. And it says erase track, or you can erase the whole disk. I'm gonna hit disk, I'm gonna hit confirm. And it will go ahead and erase this CDRW. Now again, you can't do that with a CDR, but a CDRW will definitely erase. And then you can start all over again or record something else temporarily onto the disk. And then you'll see up the top, blank. Oh, there it goes. CDRW blank. So now our disk is empty again, and we can start recording all over again. So that's about it for the Terrapin DVD and CD, uh, not DVD, VCD and CD recorder. And uh, it's a fun little toy. Uh, I paid about, I think it was 22 bucks off of eBay plus shipping. So about $40 total for this little toy. And uh, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to play with. It's just one of those things. And uh, I don't know, if you had one of these, you could use it to... Uh, to copy VHS tapes on the VCDs because the quality is going to be fairly similar. Um, but uh, of course, 
really, if you're looking for quality, you'll want to get a DVD recorder or uh, some new high-tech DVR that records in HD. And there's definitely no loss of quality. And coming from 8mm tapes or other sources of home movies that you may have taken over the years. But uh, if you record it in Digital 8 or uh, on Mini DV, you'll definitely want to use a, uh, a DVD recorder to keep that quality at the same level. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little trip back to the early 2000s. You've probably never seen one of these before, and if you have, leave a comment and let me know your experience with them. Also, share this with a friend who might be a geek like me, and probably you. And uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, leave a comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.